Hello folks, welcome back. Yes, I've given up on the whole radio voice intro nonsense. Can't do it. Anyways, I guess we're back to Half-Life. And, um, chances are I'm going to finish it in this recording. So, let's get on with it. I've just been dropped into the hole, so let's see what happens here. Yes, folks, 50 seconds in the pause game. Sorry, I forgot to get myself a drink, so, anyways. I've been playing a couple of different games, so. Check out the. That's right, okay. All right, this bit. I think I go this way. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, yes, and we still have episode one and episode two to go through. So, probably hold off on that a bit. Uh, what we'll probably do is do portal, portal one. Um, which I've already recorded. I always get a wee bit wee bit confused in this part. Oh, that's right. Let's go this way. No. Did I just... No, I didn't. I was looking the wrong way. Pay attention to Oh yeah, that's right. Get down for the ride. Wow, that was quite a... Yep, I'm back, for the, back from housing for the weekend. We're finding a friend's house. They're a young, they a young lad to a hockey game. And a uh, well, hockey tournament, I should say. And I wish they won. We rep. Uh, the other championships, he won in all our games. And uh, a little. Say a little fella. I mean, he's not a little fella. I mean, he is 12 and he's a big lad. Strong. Um, 
got a goal every game, so, and uh, got MVP for one of the games last night. So, yeah, we won. Yeah. Well, that was good. And, um, I was sitting looked at for uh, basically it's one pony, one goat. And then when I say a pony, it's a mini pony. Like it's. And one goat, mini goat, pain in the ass, one rabbit, four dogs, and a cat. So that was. For the rest of the time I spent watching TV, playing video games. So yes. Yeah. At home, organize a few things. I have copied some files I was working on, so I take a little bit of time. So you know what? I'm gonna hop on. See what's what. Oh, that's where they were. To be perfectly honest, I usually don't pay attention to this part of the game. I'm usually running off to get something to eat or drink or kind of play the ice kick bits and pieces of it, of course. the crowbar <laughs> I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I have nothing to look back now. All right, let's rock and roll. I tell you, I hate that guy.
that fun. I know I should be paying more, but I get so wrapped up in the game. That wasn't very nice. He's shooting me from. Oh. I forgot, I couldn't remember if you had it activated or not. Where's he shooting from? I can never figure that out. there. I wish I had one of these in Minecraft. I understand there's a portal gun mod. But it's for an older version of Minecraft, so... Uh... Oh yeah! What about this one?
going on here? Well, I was going to kill, uh... Sometimes I kill him, sometimes I don't. It goes either way. Just like this time I'm not. I'm not really sure why I would willingly go on one of these things, but anyways, we're off. The space in here is extraordinary. Do, 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 do. We're in the offices. So yeah, I have uh, a lot of changes on Misty. I haven't recorded on there. A lot of changes in the last three, four days. Maybe we'll do a quick recording on there. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow from work. Uh, get a four-day weekend. Uh, family day, so. I took the Friday off the house sit, so that worked out well. Good holiday. Okay, I believe this is the last chapter. Take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Mm -hmm. Meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver <laughs> yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Doctor Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. 
What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? God damn you, Bree, you let her go. Yeah, it's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Doug Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna... No! There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Are they doing? Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Come on. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well, thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen. <coughs> can still deliver That's him. Not without your help. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can survive in that environment. The host party must be joking. I can't possibly... Yeah, he is. Oh, all right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just... Hurry, he's right behind me. Come on. Shit. It, it, it'd be really nice if I could just break this glass and go here. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. But no. Don't forget to charge up your suit. Fully charged. Ready to rock and roll. I gotta do this the hard way. Eat banana.
That will be for now. Dr. Freeman, there he is. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from you. In another universe, as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed. And even in some which are essentially impossible. Oh wow, I should not be playing this. not the most elegant Oh yeah, that's right. See, she's right. I hope you said your farewell. Oh, I'm a lousy shot. I'm a really lousy shot. Oh, I mean not as lousy as I thought it was. Now the glass breaks, and she can get out. Is it really that time again? 
It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. And there you folks, there's where you have half like two. Um, I'm not gonna be playing the half life. I sh I mean, typically should have played start with half life one, but I've actually never completed that one. I've gotten last within the last minutes of the ending, and and uh, I find I, while I really enjoy playing the game, it it can be a little bit clunky, so. I really love that one. Yeah, so there. Game over. Too bad we're not going to get half. Well, we are. I guess technically it's, I think it's going to be a VR. It's going to be a prequel with Alex, from what I understand. So, <sighs> yeah, disappointing. Uh, anyways, folks, um, thank you for uh, watching. And it's great. I need some time with me. It's greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, we'll, go. we'll pick it up. Um, I guess my next release. I think I got two episodes of Portal 1 in the can. So I'll be releasing those after I'm done. I've uploaded this one. So everyone take care. See you later. Bye now.